Hello world, all my kings, queens, and zooligans. First and foremost, man, I appreciate everybody that's tapping in, everybody that's leaving comments, everybody that's uh, subscribing to the channel, and everybody that's um, loving the lingo, liking what I'm bringing to the table. <clears throat> First things first, man, I gotta give it up to God because without God, you have no me. And uh, without him, I have no meaning. So, thank you, Lord Father, for allowing us to wake up above ground and see another day. I pray that you bless each and every person that's tapping in on this video in any shape, form, or fashion that you can, Lord Father. Help them get over any hurdle. Help them accomplish any dream and goals that they may set. Please forgive us all for our sins. Rebuke the devil, evil doors, and bad spirits that's against us and ours continue to carry us. As only you can, Lord Father, because with you all things is possible. And in Jesus' name, amen. Now, look at here, man. Uh, I'm feeling good. I'm loving life. By the grace of God, man, he's allowed me and my family to get up and move around and touch a different state, a different city enjoy the weather and uh, be prosperous with this life that I'm living. Uh, today, I want to talk about first, I, I want to give it up to my little homeboy, Lil Ann Boy, may he rest in peace. Um, health is wealth, man. You know what I'm saying? If you're not on top of your health, man, uh, it can be disastrous for you. I'm not saying that he was or wasn't um but and to be honest man i'd rather lose my little homeboy to natural causes so to speak than somebody taking him out the game man you know what i'm saying because then i can deal with a little bit more and uh <clears throat> for me in my mind it's more like it was his time you know so i'm hoping that everybody out there that's related to him that knows him that's associated with him man um help his family man you know what i'm saying and help them get over it as best as they can man um give them your love your blessings and help them as they try to uh get over this dramatic experience man <clears throat> he had a little baby that uh, i know that he loved having anyway <clears throat> i don't want to really touch on him as much because uh <clears throat> I knew him, but I didn't know him. I knew Big Ann Bar a little bit more than I knew him. You know what I'm saying? He's Little Ann Bar. And he was a baby when I was out there running around in Meadowbrook Apartments living with my first wife. Uh, but I did have the chance to be inside the penitentiary with his pops from Little Park. Or uh, might have been Big Ann Bar pops from Little Park. Whatever, however. Uh, I do got a short story on him, man. Now, man, him was bunkies. Sale, uh, sale 121, B, uh, on a B yard, building, uh, two, and Ironwood State Prison, man. <laughs> and I was his celly when we was up in there getting high, and, uh, the Compton, uh, Compton Crip had got into it with a non-affiliate, and, uh, Man, it ended up having a chain effect and ended up having a whole yard rocking and rolling, man. Uh, now, let me, now, this was, man, this was one, hey, listen, this, this, this is the thing, too. So, I want to say this, too. Because <clears throat> this is one of them times when, when you're inside the penitentiary where it ain't all good being affiliated. Sometimes you want to be non affiliate and sometimes you want to be affiliated, right? So, in this, in this, uh, story I'm going to tell I'm going to tell you why a person don't want to be affiliated and why a person do want to be affiliated all in the same story right so check it out uh, trying to hold the phone man because I ain't got my, my stand it's, uh, it's in the car man and the wife and them took it to the stove so anyway Compton Crip in the cell with a non-affiliate 
the Compton Crip is robbing a non-affiliate. I can't tell you what he robbing him for, what he taking and all that. But what I can tell you is that uh, the non-affiliate finally caught on to what he was doing. The non-affiliate hangs with an old blood. Doesn't matter if this blood comes around or not. Because when I was on the yard, uh, and I wasn't on the yard long. I was on the yard maybe a month, two months at max. And uh, the LA Bloods and the Dago Bloods, we hung at two different bleachers. You know what I'm saying? And so anyway, even on occasions when, cause, cause when the, the weed is on the yard and the drink is on the yard, then we, we kind of like be at the same table, man. You know what I'm saying? Politicking, having a good time, smoking, drinking. And you know, uh, at this time, uh, you know, we got rappers and so, It'll be some rapping going on, man, and that's always a, a nice evening on the line, right? <clears throat> so, this, he, he was from Nine Deuce Bishop, Bloods, I want to say Watts. And, uh, I had never even knew this dude. Anyway, the non-affiliate was hanging with that dude, right? So, when the Compton Crip and the non-affiliate finally get down in the cell over his stuff, the non-affiliate stuff, uh, they get caught, right? But the police only rolled up to cop the crib, not the non-affiliate. Now, I don't know if he told or didn't tell. That's the part of the story where I can't tell you, man. But what I do know is that the police rolled up to cop the crib and he was gone. Now, the cop and crips ain't going for that, right? You roll up one of them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, they they rolling up whoever's standing on the line. So, when we come in, in the building at Yard Recall, they whooping this dude's ass at the Rotunda. But but the door ain't open yet, you know what I'm saying? And so, uh, no, it was open. It was open. And dude somehow slid, because I'm watching the festivities, somehow he slid inside the door when the Rotunda was closing. Uh and got away you know what i'm saying made it in the house anyway my 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 bunkie from lincoln port uh og he was smoking he know the nine affiliate he said listen man the nine affiliate is going when we go to challenge and it just happened to be a, a turkey day thanksgiving in prison if y'all know in prison turkey day is the, you know one of the best days you want to go to chow and eat man you know what i'm saying they, 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 they putting it real thick on the plate you know what I'm saying? Coming with the coming with the the pie, you know what I'm saying? And it's coming with the ice cream. You know what I'm saying? So he like, uh, when we go to trial, man, the first time the Crips and non affiliate C taking off. Now, now that's the reason why I say don't want to be a non affiliate during this time because he had to face all the heat solo dolo. You know what I'm saying? And uh, if he was affiliated, if he was affiliated, then it wouldn't. The, the situation wouldn't have went like it did. Put it like that. So now, my celly tell me this. We smoking. We got. We high as a kite. I said, "Shit, we going to jail, then? You know what I'm saying? As soon as he showed me the dude. Well, I knew the dude, but I didn't know what celly was in. I, I didn't know him. No, him. But I seen him coming in our building when he was getting his ass put. And uh. I said, well, we following him to chow, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm two steps behind him. I'm, I'm close enough to where I can see the festivities, but far enough to where, you know what I'm saying, he ain't going to be bumping all into me, and I got to get off into the festivities. You know what I'm saying? Soon as he, soon, now I see the count, the crap, the crib is at the first table. Soon as you, soon as you grab your tra uh, tray from the slot and bend around a little bend, uh, the common crips at that first table. They waiting on him. They ready for him. They, they, man, listen. They iron him down as soon as he stepped through the door. You know what I'm saying? I see him too, right? I'm like, oh boy. It's about to be festivity. You know what I'm saying? I'm jolly as a J-cat. Feel like I'm uh, about to fight Mike Tyson. About to, about to watch Mike Tyson fight. And I'm in the front row. You know what I'm saying? I'm excited like hell, right? High as a kite. Dude, the non affiliate grab that, that, that grab his plate, man. As soon as he bend that corner, he smacked the first comp to crib with the plate. Smack! It's on. It's on. Festivities, right? They own him, though. 
Man, they 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 got him going up and down the aisle, man. Now he ain't hit his feet hey, on every time. I gotta give it up to the Nine Philly because during that time, he did not fall. He did not buckle. He was on his feet on me, and they were trying to dig in. But while they doing this, all of a sudden, now the police can't even, they ain't even seen what's going on, man. It took a while. I don't know what the police was doing. While they mixing and, and on this dude, an old man jumps up. And he says, uh, man, get a nigga head up fake. Man, them Compton Crips looked at that nigga, man, that old ass nigga, the, the closest one to him from Compton, fired on him. Smack! <laughs> now, I, I, I'm affiliated, right? So I'm watching. But soon as they, soon as they fire on an old man, I see the LA Bloods jump up. And the LA Bloods jump up, now they mixing and moving with the Compton Crips. So I'm sitting there like, what? I don't know what just happened, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, foul, time out. This wasn't part of the story. How did they just jump in it? Cause now see, that's the thing about being affiliated. Now that they in it, I'm automatically in it, right? But I don't move, I, don't, I do not move at that time. Cause I'm, I'm sitting down, I'm eating my ice cream, I'm eating my, my, my pie, my Thanksgiving, and I'm enjoying the festivities. And like I say, I'm blindsided by this. Bam, police finally get everybody down, right? I'm still like, a, this is my first time in the penitentiary, man. So I'm most definitely slacking on my macking as far as how the politics and shit really goes down in the joint, you know? But I do know the fact that they homies kind of enlist me into the services of the game automatically. I do know that. But I, I but no, like I say, none of the Dago homies moved and they was in there too. So I'm like I say, I'm kind of flabbergasted on what the hell's happening. They get us all back in our buildings, man. We come, they 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 released us for yard. They released us for yard. One of my big homeboys, man, he jumped in the line for the phone and uh and uh he supposed to come out. You in them type of situations, man, it's out now he was on his way home, man, you know what I'm saying? I understand that he had been down there, you know, some years, half a decade or something like that. So that's understandable too. And that's the thing though. That's what I'm saying. When you're affiliated and you're in the pen, homie, you are not out until you out, homie. If anything go down. While you're there, it's obligations that you push on me. It, it ain't no, it ain't no, uh, oh man, I'm sure I get out tomorrow. I'm, I'm locking up and still, nah, man, ain't none of that. That sucker shit on me. That sucker shit on me. When the homies call, you got to come running on me. So, he jumped in line. And he was from Dago. He jumped in line, right? Now, we ain't even really sweating him. Because I'm not, he, you know, now, this is the thing, too. Now, do we know that it's going to go down outside? Nah, we don't know. But that's the thing, you gotta come outside to find out what's going on. Because like I said, it wasn't the non-affiliate shit no more. Now it's LA Bloods and, 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 and the Compton Crips. So it didn't change from one scenario to another. And that's why you must come outside to find out what's happening, right? So we go outside. You know me, the same way I'm talking right now uh, on this podcast, homie, voicing my, my, my opinion. How I feel about the subject matter, same way I did in the pen. I didn't want to ride. I tell, I was telling LA homies, man, fuck that. What are we doing? Why we? I, I don't. Of course, I want to come home. I mean, I, my wife just left me and shit. I mean, knock my wife. I want to hear him get out, kill this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Get my pussy. And, and you know, and I, but I do got a long time, of course. But still, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to ride and catch no time for no non-affiliate homie. That ain't what I signed up for. Your non-affiliate ain't gonna ride for us. This is my thinking. So, uh, LA Bloods ain't hearing shit I'm talking about, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm too young in the game. I ain't got no stripes. You know what I'm saying? So, so everything I'm saying, they don't give a fuck. So now I'm just trying to direct to the Dago car. Like, blood, I know we're not about to get inside this shit with this non affiliate and shit. But while I'm doing this talking, L.A. Bloods jumped up, and my homeboy, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, jumped up, and mashed, homie. All the Crips was on one side, all the Bloods was on one side, 
And as uh, soon as the LA homies jumped up, the, my homies jumped up, they mashed. It's on, nigga. It's a full flown, uh, full blown riot. Now, what do you do? Do you sit down because you don't want to be part of it? No, no. That's not how it goes, especially if you are affiliated. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's you know, it's a catch twenty two if you're affiliated and not affiliated. Because you're affiliated, it doesn't matter how many you in. Your, your skin, you in, you know what I'm saying? So when it went down, I was in, you know what I'm saying? It was fight or flight, and I was fighting, you know what I'm saying? And uh, they ended up hitting the homie uh, 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 Bobo in the knee with the block gun, dropped him, and then uh, uh, me and him was still scrapping uh, with some Crips. Now, and that's the thing, it wasn't just Compton Crips. It started over just Compton Crips, but then it spread to the whole Crip car, you know what I'm saying? And so now it's a bloody Crip riot over... A non-affiliate. You see that? That's the penitentiary. That's why you don't want to go there, man. That's why if you make it out, I want you to stay out. I want you to find innovative ways to create change for yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? Because self is wealth, man. And then uh, uh, all that shit is for the birds, homie. I mean, you know what I'm saying? That I ain't saying while you're there, don't be a soldier. You always got to be a soldier, homie. But... Once you release, homie, be a soldier for yourself, homie. Stand up for yourself, homie, you know what I'm saying? Find things to get into, homie, that's going to help change your life for the better. Your family, you know what I mean? So anyway, uh, that how it goes with the being affiliated and non-affiliated inside the prison system. Sometimes it works out for you. Sometimes it works out against you. But uh, all in all, you got to stay tall through it all, man, and keep God first. Read your Bibles. Talk to God. I love y'all, man. With that being said, peace.